Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will, back to you with another video. Man, as you can see here, I know you probably saw the title and stuff already. We definitely have an unboxing here today. We have the MacBook Air M1. Uh, man, this is the 512 gigabyte version. This is also the version uh, that comes with the eight cores on the CPU and eight cores on the GPU. Yes. Just like the MacBook Pro, all it is is just missing the actual touch bar. And I don't think we really need that, right? So we also upgraded our phone. If you know me, I'm always upgrading. I previously had the iPhone 12. Now I have the 12 Pro Max and I'll tell you all about it. Let's get into the video. So obviously we are doing the unboxing here today um, and I already have the iPhone 12 unbox and I upgraded my phone and here's the reason why. Have you ever did something and then you realize you was like, maybe I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should just wait and then get what you want. Well, uh, I've probably made that mistake over and over and over and over again so many different times. But if it's one thing that you do not realize that you pay attention to, always get what you want the first time. I actually loved iPhone 12. It was a great size. It was two caveats. One, it did record 4K60, um, but it wasn't using HDR and Dolby Vision when it was doing it. Um, it capped out at 4K30 for that. Um, now that's important for me as a content creator. And so when I'm creating videos and I'm gonna be using the iPhone for some YouTube videos, I definitely wanted to be able to get the bang for my buck, right? Um, also, it has three cameras on the Pro and the Pro Max and the regular 12 only had two cameras. You really don't realize, I take a lot of pictures of stuff on my phone, but you really don't realize how much you need um, that actual telephoto lens to be able to you know, zoom in when you actually really need it. I made a decision to upgrade and I did that. Um, also, um, I got the Apple Silicon case that you can see here. It feels like velvet <laughs> to the touch. For those that do not know, the actual iPhone 12 Pro, um, you know, it has a shiny bezels. Um, it has a matte uh, black on the actual back. Um, the phone is freaking beautiful, right? And so I'm definitely gonna do an in-depth review um, on a different video, but I have the Apple case, which is also a MagSafe case. Um, and with that, I also picked up uh, what we call as a MagSafe charger. And so, uh, yeah, you know, we're definitely gonna, you know, kind of test this out during the video today. And last but not least, I got an iPhone deck. <laughs> and so we are definitely going to be unboxing the new MacBook. Now, you probably ask yourself, why did I purchase a MacBook? Uh, I purchased a MacBook because I have a YouTube channel. No, I'm just playing. No, seriously. Uh, I'm actually trying to change up my workflow. Um, well, not trying, I actually am changing up my workflow. I'm moving away from Adobe uh, <laughs> Premiere for my video editing um, and also Adobe After Effects. Uh, the subscription service is just, uh, it's just too much. Um, it's Right now, just not feasible. Um, I feel like I'm actually getting over on me, um, especially you know when you, when you realize that you're paying like $600 a year for that service. Uh, when I could just, you know, I've been good God Almighty, look at this. So when I've been seeing all the videos about the new M1 chip, which is Apple's own silicon, um, and the 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 amount of production and you know productivity that I could be able to get from this, especially from a video editing standpoint with Final Cut Pro, um, is going to be amazing um, because Apple makes their hardware exactly for their software. And I've been seeing some amazing results coming from the MacBook Air M1 and also the MacBook Pro M1 uh, series. And so uh, yeah, we're just going to be doing an unboxing today, just taking a look at it, setting it up, um, and then we will have a full review at a later video. So, let's get into it. So, as we can see here, the only other MacBook I actually owned in the past, um, it was a while back, uh, was actual MacBook Pro. Um, that was before they made all the changes um, to the, Thunder, uh, the Thunderbolt 4th generation, I believe. Um, so I got the 512 SSD version um, because you need storage. <laughs> 256 gigabytes is not enough for a laptop. 
Uh, the battery life on these things are insane. Uh, so one of the things I've been hearing, it has like uh, 20 hours worth of battery life. I'm pretty sure we're uh, real world usage is probably maybe around about 15, 16 hours, which is still insane. Um, it comes with the 13.3 inch screen. And that's when you just lift. Come on, come on up. Whew. And let me tell you something about Apple's packaging. Um, I got the space gray version, um, just like I got on the phone. And this is super light. Um, I have the iPad here. This is the iPad Pro, um, the 2020 edition, uh, fourth generation through Verizon. Uh, absolutely love that. Got you know, got the S Pen, and I'll definitely be doing a comparison video between these two. What's the difference in between the two? Um, but like I said, I actually this thing is beautiful. I actually got this specifically uh, for some on-the-go stuff. Um, for people that do not know, Macs, especially when it comes to laptops, they are great uh, for a couple of reasons. One, battery life. Two, Mac OS software. Uh, oh, it's the third reason. And then three, um, to get the full power out of the MacBook, you do not need to have this plugged up via the charger, meaning that I could get full power out of this without having to be near a plug. And that is a plus, 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 plus. So if I'm on the go, if I'm in another state, if I'm traveling, I'm doing more traveling this year, um, I could be able to quickly, I could record some 4K60 video on my iPhone, for the channel, for some content, maybe to throw up on social media. I can airdrop it to the MacBook, edit it on Final Cut Pro, boom. I don't have to be at home. Um, I can actually get the videos out quickly. Um, I don't try to figure out how to be able to sync my iPhone up to my computer to try to get the video off. And then once I get the video off, then I can be able to get it into editing the software. No, it's like boom, boom, and then I'm done. And so, yeah, and plus, with Final Cut, it's only $300, but it's a flat fee, no subscription. So I paid $300 one time, I got the software forever, and I don't feel like I'm bleeding money out my backside. So uh, yeah, this thing is super thin. Uh, again, you know, this comes with eight cores uh, for the CPU, eight cores for the GPU. Um, it has eight gigabytes worth of unified memory. I know that's a special term, uh, but it's all on one chip and it's like uh, one of the best things that's popping. Here is the actual power USB-C power cord. Um, in here is the block. This is the uh, the power adapter. I believe this is this is 30 watts. Um, so USB power adapter. Um, this, again, I have the 512 gigabyte version. Um, and also the one, uh, the actual MacBook Air that comes with the eight core GPU. Um, and so if we open this up, that's like super premium. And then did you hear it? Did you hear it? It just cut on. Um, and if I could pull this off. So as you can see here, look at that screen. I believe the actual screen is 2560 by 1440. Um, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the keyboard is phenomenal. Um, the actual trackpad is huge and now it's asking me to be able to set it up. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy set up. All right. So one of the things I'm seeing here, it definitely wants to go to English. So let's go ahead and do this. So click English, click next. I haven't set one of these up in such a long time. All right. So it wants us to select the country, it's United States. Um, it wants us to connect to the Wi-Fi. So let me do that. Okay, so once you put in your Apple ID, um, I have a bunch of Apple devices, iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, but it will ask you for a sign-in, uh, actual code for two-step verification. If you do not have this set up, um, you should definitely get this set up. So let's go ahead and put that in. It just wanted me to create a computer account, so I set that up. Uh, obviously, you can't see what I put in. <laughs> um, but once you set that up, you should be good to go. Um, so it looks like uh, it's pulling some information from the iCloud. So it's setting up the account. Okay, so it wants us to set up Hey Siri. I'll do that later. Um, improve Siri dictation. Share out. Um, that is a negative Ghost Rider. No, we're not sharing any of that. Uh, no data from this side. 
Turn on file vault disk encryption. Allow our cloud account to unlock my disk. Would you like to use file vault? Yep, that's cool. We could do that. Ooh, touch ID. Now, uh, at the top right hand corner here, um, it does have touch ID, which I don't know why they took this away from the iPhone. Uh, Apple, please bring it back. Um, but we could definitely go ahead and set that up. And it definitely got to get the sides of your finger. Apple Pay, we'll set that up later. Uh, we definitely go in dark. <laughs> Choose your look, light, dark. Uh, see without True Tone display. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take off that True Tone display, but we're gonna let it ride. Okay, calendar, let you use your calendar, okay. So as you can see, boom, we got, we set up to the desktop. Yeah, we got a reminder. So let's just take a little trip to YouTube. We'll go to my channel just to keep it safe. Now I can tell you actually what typing on this, um, the keyboard feels great. Um, so definitely I can see myself doing some work on this. Hey, what's going on guys? This is boy C. Will and this here. is your boy video. That's the welcome to my channel video. So just looking at this, uh, the screen looks phenomenal. Uh, and this is the MacBook Air, not the Pro, but the performance is the same as the Pro. Um, and being able to scroll up and down with the trackpad, uh, yeah, I am definitely going to enjoy this. I have normally been a Windows user, but again, um, I am going to buy and download Final Cut Pro. Um, I got some videos that I need to edit. Uh, one of the things that I need to show here too, uh, before we go, uh, is the MagSafe charger. And so this right here, the funny thing about it, it uses USB-C, but the new iPhones do not come with actual block <laughs> in the box. So um, I have a block here that's USB-C that comes with the MacBook and also I have one for my iPad. Um, so that's what allows me to be able to use this without buying another block. But the great thing about this, uh, this Apple uh, silicon case for the Pro Max is that the MagSafe, it's a MagSafe case. And so boom, look at that. And so even though the phone is heavy, look how strong that magnet is. Uh, that's amazing, you know, how they're able to do that. So wirelessly charged, um, that's what this is for. Um, and so I can definitely have this by the bedside. Um, if I wanted to, I could mount this in my car and all that good stuff. And so, yeah. Um, this is pretty dope. So if you definitely want to take a look at some of the links and the items that we talked about today, um, I will definitely put the Amazon links in the description below that helps the channel out. Uh, but um, yeah, this is just a setup, you know, unboxing the setup of the MacBook Pro, the new iPhone. Um, and one of the goals that I have is that can you run a YouTube channel just using iPhone 12 Pro Max and a MacBook Air M1? and i believe that you can so we would definitely find out man i appreciate y'all thank you for checking out the video all the way through definitely let me know down in the comments what you think don't forget to like don't get to subscribe and also hit the bell so you receive all my notifications and i will see you all in the next video peace